hey do you want to download and install my sql are you confused where to do it from if yes you have come into the right place in the next few minutes we will show you how to download and install my sql to download my sql we have to visit its official website so you can either click on the link from the description box or search it here like me the name of the website is mysql.com slash downloads slash install it we are going to install the community version in here we get an option to select the operating system as well now we have two options to download the install the first one is the web version and the second one is the offline version if you want to install it using the internet you can choose the first option else if you are offline and want to install it offline you can choose the second option since i want to keep a local copy of the installer i will download the offline version the size of the same is 422 mb so let's click on download we don't have to log in or sign up we can simply click no thanks just start my download the download will start so let's wait until the download is over since it will take some time let's skip it to the part where it gets downloaded that's it we have successfully downloaded the installer let's install it we will click on show in folder click on run In here we have many options like developer server only client only full and custom for our case we will select full let's click on next this will be the folder location where it gets installed click on next the system is giving an warning about the location let's click on yes mysql is trying to find python in our local since we don't have python we can save this thing let's click on next again and click on yes so these are the list of things that will get installed like mysql server workbench shell router connectors for different languages and many more let's click on execute now. the system will take some time to install all these features so i'll fast forward the video Okay, everything is installed. Let's click on next again. So now we have to configure MySQL server, router, and samples. Let's click on next. We have different types of configuration. For our case, we will select development computer. The port three three zero six is the default port for MySQL. We'll keep it as it is. Let's click on next. We have two different options. strong password and legacy authentication we will select the recommended option let's click on next now since i already installed it earlier i get an option to check the existing password for your case you will have an option to provide a new password let's click on next we will keep this part as it is in case you want to create a custom user you have the option here let's click on next again click on execute here and wait The configuration for MySQL server is successful. Let's click on finish here. We have to configure the router now. Let's click on next again. Click on finish. Finally, we have to set up the samples. Let's click on next again. Provide the root password here and click on check. 
once it has succeeded, we will click on next. Click on execute again. Click on finish now. Finally, click on next. Okay, the system says the installation was complete. So let's go ahead and check if the installation was successful. For that, we will open MySQL workbench. Open the app. Click on this MySQL instance. Give the password and click on OK. Go into the schema section here to check the existing database. So that's how you download and install MySQL. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to support us, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.